Welcome to video number 26, Ready to Print. This is our final video of our tutorial, and in this video we're going to load our G-code into Pronterface, and we're finally going to put our new 3D printer to the test. So now we have found our calibration cube, we loaded it into Slicer and we turned it into G-code, and now we can take that G-code and print it out through Pronterface. But before we do that, uh, it's important to prep your printer a little bit to get ready. And so we're going to put a couple of layers of Kapton tape onto the heat bed. Kapton tape is personally my favorite way of getting good first layer adhesion. And the way I usually do it is I lay two fresh layers down and I smooth them out with a credit card to make sure that there's no air bubbles in it. And you can make this uh, area as wide as you want to with the tape. But right now I'm just going to put a couple of short pieces down because our calibration cube is going to be a small print. So you're going to see me cutting two small pieces and then I'm going to put some more capped on tape on top of that so I have two good layers. And I'm going to make sure they're nice and smooth. Now this way a combination of the heat from the heat bed and the tape and having the correct nozzle height the very first layer is going to print directly into the tape and it's going to stick very well and that's going to be good for the rest of the print because there's not going to be any corner lifting or anything like that. So finally, we are going to open up Pronterface, get our temperature set, and we are going to go to File and we are going to navigate to the G code that we exported from Slicer. And the G code is what is going to give Pronterface all the instructions it needs. In fact, all the way down to the temperature. I mean, it's good to go and set the temperature before you load the file to get it heated up, but but our G code is actually going to going to relay the temperature settings that we made within Slicer to Pronterface so that it knows the first layer temperature and every layer after that. So once it loads and reaches the target temperatures then we're going to see it home all of the axis into place and it's going to do that before every print. And you also saw that I had some tweezers. It's always good to keep tweezers around because while you're waiting for it to heat up, there's gonna be some extra filament that's gonna extrude out of the hot end. And it can be a little messy whenever it goes to print if you let it build up too much. And once it's reached its, its temperature, now it's moving into place and we're finally gonna see it start printing. And the good thing about Slicer is it's preset to do a skirt around whatever your print project is. No matter how big it is or whatever, it does the skirt to get rid of some of that extra filament that was seeping out of the hole. But it's done its skirt and now we're officially watching the first layer. And you can see it's moving really slow for a 3D printer, but that's exactly what we wanted. That's why I turned the speeds down because now you can actually see what it's doing and it has less of a chance to have missteps and layer shifting and things like that at very low speeds. And you want to make sure that you know you're printing and you're calibrated before you start increasing speeds because that's when a lot of issues can arise. But so far this is looking like a like a really good first layer. And that's how we want it to look.
So I have fast forwarded down to the very end of the print because it is a little bit of a lengthy print when you slow it down that much. And here we go, we're gonna see it finishing up pretty soon. But this is exactly what we wanted out of our first print. And when I pick it up to take a look at it here in a second, we're gonna see that it's really not perfect. And you'll start to tune in to find details on your prints. And if you look close, you can see that the, the first few layers are actually a little ways off and there's a little bit of curve to it. But here we go, I break it off, and all in all, I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely a good starting point for a, for a first print, and this will tell us a lot about our printer. So, taking a good look at my print, we can tell that it's not perfect. And yours may not have ended up being perfect either, but if you're able to print an open-ended cube, then you have succeeded. And there may be some layer shifting, and it may not look pretty, but it's still something that you printed from a printer that you built from scratch. So from this point forward, it's all about making the prints look better and being able to print faster. So this is where I'm going to leave you and wish you good luck on your continuous calibrations and all your future prints. And I just want to say thanks for following my tutorial and welcome to the world of 3D printing.